<laughs> Man, I had a great weekend. I I was playing a game this weekend. This game was a lot of fun. It really was. There's so much to say about this game. I had a great time playing it. Let's just get straight into it. The snipers in the game, they're hard to use. I mean, it's not like Modern Warfare 2 where you're going to see people, you know, quick scoping left and right and stuff. And no, it's definitely hard to snipe. In this game, it's it's no cakewalk, but it's satisfying. It is. It's it's awesome. Shotguns, you know, those things are pretty much like they were in COD 4, where they took this little thing called skill, and even if you had skill with the shotgun, it wouldn't it wouldn't always work. It's inconsistent, and that's I don't know. I'd have to say that's for better a good thing. I I want them to make them better, but I don't think they will. We will see. Oh, there was that one perk people didn't like from Call of Duty 4. What was it called? Last Stand? Uh, what's it called? And uh, I forget what it's called, but people thought that would be a problem. And no, it's not. Because pistols, they, they're they not good. They aren't. And uh, it's it's not as crazy as you think. It's definitely manageable. You know, you don't see a lot of people doing it. But, like, when I use my shotgun... I have to shoot them twice, and I don't like that, but, you know, whatever. It's one of those necessary things to cater to the noobs. And speaking of noobs and stuff, explosives. You know, those have always been uh, kind of a hairy thing in COD. And in this game, they they don't seem that bad. They seem pretty manageable and not really cheap in any way. Except for the landmine. What's that landmine called? I forget what it's called, but... That landmine is crazy. It, it will explode and it will kill you. So you better be wearing your flak jacket or else it will get you. Trust me. It's definitely good to watch out for those and just use that perk a lot. And speaking of things that go boom, noob tubes, you know, those were kind of a problem in COD 4. And in this game, they're not that bad. Now, granted, the first one I pick up, I get a triple with, so I'm thinking, oh my god, these things are fucking broken, but no, they're not. That was just some <laughs> really random lucky triple noob tube. So I think if you just wear a flak jacket, you'll always be countered, and you'll always be good. good job, team. And you know, for guns being balanced, I thought SMGs were SMGs were really good in COD 4, and um, so were assault rifles, and it seemed really balanced. And I think this game is kind of like COD 4 in that sense. So that's definitely a really good thing. I was kind of worried that one thing would be, you know, one class would outclass the other, but so far everything looks good and fair, which I'm really happy about. Uh, one thing I'm not so happy about is it's really how hard to sound horner in this game. It really is. Um, you can, uh, there's perks to help you sound whore better, but it's really hard in general to sound whore, which I guess kind of makes it more fair, you know, for people who don't have headsets and people who do, but I don't know, I'm sure maybe there's just an art I have to get used to because of all the ambient noise, but you know, I don't know, once I play the game, uh, more then I will just get better, you know? And the maps that uh, I was playing, they were a lot of fun. All the maps seem uh, pretty small, like COD 4 maps, like Vacant or something. But there's a lot of action going on, so you never really feel out of it. And it's overall, I didn't hate any of the ones I played. And there's a lot of stuff to customize in this game. You will be busy for a while. I don't know if I'll prestige. Maybe I will. Um, I don't know what you get for it, so... I might not, but we'll we'll see. I would say I won't prestige than I always do. So that's me. And there's also a lot of attachments, so you're never going to get bored of using Red Dot over and over. There's a lot of things in this game. It's a ridiculous amount. I can't even explain it, but overall, honestly, I had a good time playing. Uh, I was playing with Hutch, C Nanners, you know, Muzza Fuzza, some Optic people, and just overall, everyone was enjoying themselves. And we all can't wait to play again soon, sometime. Oh, and the kill streaks. Let's not forget those, man. <laughs> I love me my dogs. Those things do work, and they rape face, and they're a lot of fun to use. And they're probably my favorite kill streak. And then 
What's the one where it shows the enemies uh, has red dots on your radar? Uh, I forget what it's called. But that isn't that good because everyone uses the camouflage perk so they don't show up on it. So that's definitely not that good. But the one that makes it so the enemy doesn't have the radar. No, no, it's like hardcore something. I forget. But if you have the one that makes it so the enemy doesn't have one, it's that's better. And then, oh yeah, the knife thing. What's that called? The ball, the bayonet. That's what it's called. I thought that thing would be newbie, and it's not really that bad, but the knife in general is kind of commando-y, and so was that thing, but, you know, I'm sure it'll be fine. The game's still fun, and... Wait, whoa, 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 what are you guys asking? Wait, what game am I playing? Really? I mean, honestly, you guys didn't figure it out? <laughs> Obviously, it's Call of Duty World at War. I mean, what else is there to be playing right now until Black Ops? Modern Warfare 2? Heck no. Heck no. No siree.